Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A Crizzy here, and welcome back to another movie review. In tonight's movie review, I'm going to be doing a movie review on the live-action DreamWorks movie from 2003, Old School, starring Will Ferrell, Luke Wilson, Vince Vaughn, and, and directed by Todd Phillips. So, Old School goes like this. After discovering his girlfriend had, has been participating in group sex, Attorney Mitch feels feels his his world his world can come he 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 basically feels like feels like his world has come undone, so he moves into a new place which happens to be near a college campus and tries to to get his life back together. And and two of his best friends Frank and Beanie start hang start hanging out at Mitch's house, eventually turning the place into a wild party pad, much to the ire of the college of the college's dean. Gordon Pritchard, played by Jeremy Piven. So, yeah. So, way before watching the whole movie, uh, way before I watched the whole movie, like or like like later later last year in like August of twenty twenty three, like I remember seeing bits and pieces of this movie on television a long time ago, and then and then I got to watch the whole movie on Paramount Plus and during the summer of twenty twenty three. And which was August, like I said, and 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 of course, my my dad really loves this movie, and because obviously, because it's got Vince Vaughn, like one of one, like he really likes him, and so I gotta say, Old School was actually a really great movie. Overall, the movie itself was actually a really great movie from two thousand three. Yeah, it 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 already turned twenty years old last year, and this year it'll be twenty one years old. Yeah, so. Yeah, because there are some things I did like about the film. Like, the story itself is kind of interesting, and it's, like, how the, the movie takes place at, like, you know, it takes place about, like, about, like, like how, like, like where, 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 of course, the new place appears to be next next to a college campus. And, and, yeah, and, of course, and I do appreciate how Todd Phillips actually, actually directs this film well enough. Because th this is actually one of Todd Phillips' earliest films he worked on, which was what year, which is like many years before he directed the 2019 film Joker. And yeah, Todd Phillips has worked with Bradley Cooper on a lot of stuff, but but yeah, Todd Phillips. I gotta say, Todd Phillips actually does a good job directing this film, and even the humor itself is is kind of funny at some parts. Like the hu some of the humor is kind of funny at, at at a few parts here and there. And the acting performances are definitely great because because the because the, the cast members are all great in the film like Will Ferrell, Luke Wilson, Vince Vaughn, and Jeremy Piven. It's like most of the talented most of the talented actors that I know the most I all do a good job in the film. One of my one of my issues and flaws I kind of have with the film is that is, is that is that when I was watching this film this movie had a, this movie had some of, some of the most overused sound effects because the sound effects that that were heard in this movie. The sound effects were actually were actually like like some overused stock sound effects that we've heard we've heard it in other media, like like that or like one of those overused baby crying sound effects, which I think it, which I think I remember when I was watching the film that that baby crying sound effect was was heard like near near like during the beginning of the film, and and yeah and and <clears throat> and of course there there might have been some some other overused sound effects as well like like that like that that crowd gas sound effect I I knew a lot for a long time. It goes <gasps> like <gasps> like see because because that's what the crowd gasp sounds like, yeah, and we we've heard that sound in like so many other media, and and I feel I feel like I feel like most of the sound effects that were used in this film found, so sound a little overused and can get a little annoying at annoying at sometimes. But as for the baby crying sound effect that I mentioned that I already mentioned, that baby crying sound effect was also used in, in some DreamWorks movies, some other DreamWorks animated films like Shrek Two, Shrek the Third. Boss Baby and Penguins of Madagascar, which was used for the baby squid in that film. Yeah, even that that baby crying crying sound effect was it was used in a bunch of other in a bunch of other media too. Because I remember it was also it was also in a Good Burger sketch on the show All That, and it was also it was also at the end of the Rob Schneider film The Animal, and of course it was also in the Elmo's World episode about babies, obviously, and. Yeah, cause, but 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 that that, that but yeah, the, the the overused sound effects that were used in this film are, are one of my issues I have in the film, and but but aside from all that, 
th this movie, this movie was still a great movie, nevertheless. It's, that doesn't take away the fact that this movie is still a great movie. Like, like my dad still loves this movie. And, yeah, and I gotta say, this is actually one of Vince Vaughn's, this is also one of Vince Vaughn's best films, and one of his funniest films he was in, besides Wedding Crashers, because, since my dad really loved Wedding Crashers, and I love that movie, too. And, <clears throat> excuse me. I gotta say that this movie, this movie was actually it still holds up to this very day, and despite its flaws here and there, it, it still holds up to this day, even after even after twenty years. It's still a, a great, enjoyable movie from two thousand three, and yeah, and also one of Will Ferrell's best movies he's ever been in. Yep, great movie. So yeah, I just did the four signal, but I'll get to that right now. So overall. Old School was a great movie, and I'm going to give Old School four stars out of five. So, there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my movie review on Old School, and that's going to be it for this video. So, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Mr. A. Crazy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.